Hello, this is Alan from Toolchef. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to export an agent type definition from a character rig. For this video, I'm using our default character, the Atoms robot, and you can find this scene inside the Atoms Houdini data folder. In this scene, I have uh, a simple skeleton and some geometries. Uh, my skeleton is using this structure, like for every bone uh, as a null as a parent, and all the animation is applied to the, to the nulls object and not on the bones. Just pay attention because in Udini you can have character or skeleton uh, composed by just bones. Uh, unfortunately, Atoms doesn't support that, but it only supports skeleton you, that are using this uh, this convention here. Usually, if you if you are importing your skeleton from an FBX, the FBX importer will create a structure like that. So just pay attention to your your skeleton. Then uh, I have some geometry here that represent my, my robot. This geometry here with the text, uh, there are skin to my skeleton here. And then I have also a uh, proxy geometry that are just a simple version of my robot. And every object here must follow a specific naming convention. So every object here must start with a joint name followed by an underscore geostring. Because during the simulation for every object, Atoms extract the joint name from the geometry name and apply a, a parent constraint between them. Okay, now let's go to the Atoms, Export and Skeleton Exporter menu. So before uh, we can export uh, the agent uh, definition, we need to add some attributes to some of the joints. And we can add those attributes using the tag option under each of those four buttons. So the first thing is you need to tag the pelvis. Uh, in this case, there are just one because it's a biped. And here on the pelvis button, just press and press tag. And if you go at the bottom of the parameter editor, you will see the new attributes. And in case uh, your uh, character is a quadruped, you need to tag all the pelvis inside the skeleton. So for a dog, for example, you have two pelvis and so on. Then we need to uh, um, tag some joints for the legs because uh, during the simulation, Atoms will apply an, uh, an, an IK system. So Atoms need to know where to apply the, the IK. So the first thing you need to uh, tag the, the foot rod joints, that in this case are those joints here. So Atoms uh, apply the IK on top of the foot rod joint. And then we need to attack the foot IK, so basically where the IK end all is applied. Tag the foot IK, and then we need to tag the foot joints. So it should be here, and the two base, like here. And the foot tip joint is used to check the ground contact when you export an animation. Uh, you will see that in the next video. The last thing to do is to set the pole vector on each foot or joint. Uh, the pole vector is a position for space that is later used by, by the IK solver. Here you can see there is already a value on the pole vector um, attribute. Uh, by default it's the um, joint war position, uh, but in this case just set 5 here, so we have a point uh, there, and set also for the other joints. If you leave the default value, Atoms will try to estimate a good pull vector position during the simulation, but I suggest to set always that manually. Okay, so now we need to tell the exporter uh, which is our root, it should be the hit. Inside the extra joint section here, you can add all the joints that are not under the main hierarchy of your skeleton. For example, prop joints or all, all the other uh, chains that are not in the hierarchy. So you just select all the joints there and then press the plus button here in the extra joint section. 
Then you need to set the bind pose for every joint. Uh, you can do that just pressing the set bind pose attributes here. It will traverse all the joints. Uh, it, it store the bind pose transformation on the atoms attributes. If, for example, select one joint here, you will see it, it store the bind pose for every joint. Then we need, we need to select our proxy, proxy geo group. In this case, we need to select our parent null object. And then the skin, skin geometry. Okay. And then we need to set the output path. So it would be my robot and press export. So if you go in, inside the output folder, you will find three files. The uh, .atom scale file is the one containing the skeleton definition. The, the .geo contain the proxy geometry and the skin one contain the, the skin uh, uh, geometries.